I'm not going to make moonshine, however, what I am going to make is the ultimate, the ultimate beer brewing kit. Now this is a combi tank, what I mean by a combi tank is it's got a small section at the top, a large bottom at the, at the, at the bottom. So this is an insulated jacket, which if you peel it all off, you'll see what I'm on about. Now, you don't want to throw this, you just kind of do want to keep this. So obviously the whole point of doing this for insulation purposes. Because one of the biggest problems, get her out of the there. One of the biggest problems people have, wait, <coughs> is when they try to do home brewing kits or home brew, the general problem is is keeping it warm because it's got to be kept between a certain temperature. If it drops below that temperature, the yeast doesn't get activated. If it goes too high, you could potentially kill it. Um, so this one, I think this is great because I'm going to basically cut that section off, keep this bit. At this top section, obviously once this has been removed, cut that top section off to fit me, me bucket. This is actually a proper brewer's, well not a proper brewer, you know, stuff in the shop. Which you just, if you, the idea is that will then go inside the hole, which then in that void itself, you'll fill out with water, you turn the immersion element on, obviously adjust it right down to the temperature that is needed, and then hey presto, you've got the perfect environment. Obviously get your insulation jacket and then wrap it around it's for a bit of extra insulation purposes. Now, I know you're probably thinking, why do you just put the beer directly into the copper tank? First of all, um, it's a second hand tank, so my application probably wouldn't be the best because I'll see contamination but also the metal itself can contaminate the beer. So hence the reason why I'm using this. Because this you can then remove out, sterilize it, clean it, do what you want to do, replace the water in a nice and easy, and then when you're ready to go again, that will then slide in the top, obviously fill it with water, slide in the top, or this what this bit what I'll keep for is for obviously ventilation, so it doesn't start boiling or bubbling up around the side. It's got this bit for ventilation, and also you can top it up through that purpose as well. And then I press that, that, that's pretty much it. Okay, cut all that off, cut a hole, fit it inside, sterilise it, fill it with water, switch it on, <coughs> and start brewing. What more can I say? So let's get on with it. We have completed! Right, this I've happily labelled DC71. DC stands for Darren Collins. Darren Collins, big wave to you. Thanks for subscribing. This video is dedicated to you. It's only one because that's the flat I used to live at. Right. So, as you can see, off camera, uh, I've, I've been slain. I've done all my tests, done absolutely everything needs to be done, including obviously the, wrap, the wrapping. The reason why I've done it off camera because it's not particularly interesting to see some somebody putting wrapping on. 
all I've done is simply is remove the tank, wrapped, obviously folded the plastic, obviously got rid of the insulation, I've only got the insulation up to this point, just literally folded it within itself, tucked it within, glued it, put the bucket back in to actually hold it in place. The reason why I wanted the plastic inside is because uh, it's, it cushions the, the actual tub against the metal, so you're not actually getting any sort of metal scratching every time you pour it in and out. It's just that little bit of extra cushioning. On the bottom side, I've done pretty much the same thing, just literally wrapped it under. I had some old uh, uh, sort of, uh, sleeping foam, you know, stuff to go camping with. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Cut a round circle, stuck on the underside, and it just neatens things up. It's, it acts as insulation, a uh, decorative feature, uh, and also cushioning as well. So if you ever put it on something like, uh, let's say you've got wooden floor or something like that, you don't want bare metal onto that, and also the cars and draft. So it acts as a bit like that. <clears throat> Now the DC71 is, I must admit, it's an awesome project. I actually love doing this and I can't wait in the next video, and this will actually be the next video. The actual brewing of the beer. So make sure you subscribe and obviously keep an eye out for that video because I'm mixing for pints, truth to be told. Now the DC71 operates off a, a thermostat for my hot water tank, as you know, obviously watching the tank, it's hot water tank. Now, the only thing I saw about this is well, no, in fact, this is what makes the DC71 such a versatile tool. Because with beer, with well, my home brew kit, it operates between 18 and 20 Cs. Obviously, this thing is a minimum temperature of 30. So, obviously, that's no good. So, I've actually attached a room stack uh, to the actual unit by physically, it's actually physically screwed onto there, by actually riveted, truth be told. Which is another riveting story, which I'll get to another time. But, <laughs> the good thing about room stacks, they operate between Five, well, not all, and 30 degrees. Now, if you ever want to use something which requires hotter temperatures, then obviously you just literally bypass this by obviously taking that cover off, and then you've got, seven, uh, you've got 30 to 70 degrees. Well, actually, 75 would be this one goes to. So, it's such a good versatile tool. So, I'm really chuffed with the DC71. It's dedicated to my friend Darren Collins, who used to live at Flat 71. That's where we first met. So, Darren Collins, this video is dedicated to you. Give us a wave, double thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <clears throat> Yeehaw! Gonna make me some moonshine!